UFC lightweight division bout. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents, always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for you. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase the mission. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Trying for a throw of sorts here, but unable to get him down. Nice job. Just keep it great distance. To land a hip toss, you have to get your hips in. All the distance doesn't allow him to shoot his hips in there to land his throw. Oh, we 
really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Nice punch there by Nermago Medoff. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, collar tie continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful right hook counter. Way to hide that leg kick. Fantastic takedown land. Medoff's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, he's taking a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Cruz has got to like that transition there. Submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. To try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Medoff's right back to the full mount here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now, he's gonna try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Right on cue, there he is, falls to the side. Looks like his opponent's trying to work with the choke. Now he's okay, now he can escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet, very nice. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. So we call on the fight stats here unofficially. 49 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Trying the flying knee there. Great shot to the body. Sit back, relax, and Listen to me. We're getting sloppy with those takedowns, okay? I don't want you just going blindly with the takedown. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Look at the turnover in that kick. Single collar tie now. And that left hook landed on the button. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Relax. Big head kick land. 
Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Lands an elbow there, nice job by Nermago Meta. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice land there by Nermago Meta. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice punch from the clinch. That is how you scramble, folks. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And they both stand up. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big left hand there. Armago Medov gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive in the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just over two minutes to go. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the back. Oh man, that was slick. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking on bar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. 
credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Continues with the leg kick. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA got to like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice loop and punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nurmagomedov gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by Nermago Metal. Big punch from the clinch. Gets the elbow up into the target. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight right is there. Cut him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lands a strike there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poured blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Habib Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had.